say you can keep an eye on me? Yes. When they analyzed the stock market after 9-11, the CIA discovered a massive shorting of airline stocks. When the stocks hit bottom on 9-12, somebody made a fortune. I gotta be honest with you. When the September 11 situation happened, I didn't know that. The, <laughs> and I must say, and I wanna, and I wanna, wanna say this because it's. I wanna take it lightly. It's not a light situation. It's a, a devastating act. Uh, it was really a bad thing. It was one of the worst things I've seen in my lifetime, you know. But I will tell you, and every trader will tell you, who was not in that building. And who was buying gold and who owned gold and silver? That when it happened, the first thing you thought about was, well, how much is gold up? The first thing that came to mind was, my God, gold must be exploding. Fortunately for us, all our clients were in gold. So when it went up, they all doubled their money. Everybody doubled their money. It was a blessing in disguise. Devastating. Crushing, heart shattering, but on a financial sense, for the, my clients that were in the market, they all made money. Now, I wasn't looking for this type of help. But it happened. When the U.S. bombed Iraq uh, back in 1991, the price of oil went from $13 to $40 a barrel, for Christ's sake. Now, we couldn't wait for the bomb to start raining down on Saddam Hussein. We were all excited. We wanted Saddam to really create problems. Do whatever you have to do. Set fire to some more oil wells because the price is going to go higher. Every broker was chanting that. There was not a broker that I know of that wasn't excited about that. This was a disaster. This was something that was, you know, catastrophe happening, bombing, wars. In devastation, there is opportunity. 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 A put option is a bet that a stock price is going to fall. If one were to put a single put option contract on American Airlines at $30 a share, and the stock fell to $18, one could purchase 100 shares at $18 and immediately sell them for 30 netting a profit of $12 a share. This is exactly what happened on a far larger scale with many companies around the world on 9-11. The levels of options purchased the week of 9-11 were more than six times higher than normal. A former member of the German parliament, then responsible for oversight of the German secret service, estimated that profits by insider traders were $15 billion. Wall Street analyst Phil Erlinger was the first to spot the suspicious trades. What I see is prior knowledge. You can call it conspiracy. It's my opinion that somebody knew ahead of time that 9-11 was going to happen and they made bets to take advantage of it. And these bets weren't just normal run-of-the-day bets. They were far in excess of, of what we would call normal activity. Put options set to expire on September 30th, 2001 were bought on August 6, 2001 or earlier at the Chicago Board Options Exchange. These put options were basically a bet that the stock would plummet. When it did, the people who purchased those put options made a lot of money. Thousands of put stock options were bought on United and American Airlines immediately prior to September 11, 2001. On average, during the first weeks of September 2001, 27 put options were bought each day on Morgan Stanley, one of the World Trade Center's largest occupants. The total of its put options for the three days prior to the attacks was 2,157. Merrill Lynch, also in the WTC, saw 12,215 put stock options. That is 12 times its normal level. Between September 6th and 7th, Chicago Board Options Exchange saw 4,744 put option contracts with United Airlines and only 396 call options. On September 10th, 
put options for American Airlines totaled 4,516 versus 748 call options. In addition, these trades were not only occurring in our country, but around the world. There is no chance that all or even most of the trades were placed by Osama bin Laden or Al-Qaeda. According to Fox News, CNN, and the BBC, insider trading reports were found in the USA, Germany, Britain, France, Canada, Japan, Monte Carlo, Switzerland, Hong Kong, Italy, Spain, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Singapore. The director of the CIA headed a firm that bought some of these put stock options. Until 1998, Buzzy Krongard headed United Airlines stock. Mr. Krongard was head of Bankers Trust until he resigned and was promoted to CIA executive director by President Bush in March 2001. Buzzy Krongard purchased this stock and our government did nothing about it. Deutsche Bank is also one of the four banks most used by the Bin Laden family. Additionally, two and a half million dollars in put options on United and American Airlines went unclaimed. The German Central Bank President, Ernst Weltek, had a study conducted by his bank. It indicated, quote, there are ever clearer signs that there were activities on international financial markets that must have been carried out with the necessary expert knowledge in industries such as gold, oil, airlines, and insurance companies. There was a lot of money to be made from the events of September 11th, and indeed, uh, many people in our uh, own government called the events of September 11th an opportunity, an opportunity. The firm used to place the put options on United Airlines stock was managed until 1998 by the man who is now the number three executive director position at the CIA. A.B. Buzzy Krongard became vice chairman of Bankers Trust when the two firms merged and his new position was to oversee private client relationships. Krongard had a special hands-on relationship with some of the wealthiest people in the world in a specialized banking operation that Senator Carl Levin identified as being connected to the laundering of drug money. Bankers Trust was acquired by Deutsche Bank in 1999 to form the single largest bank in Europe. Before 9-11, Kevin Ingram, an executor for Bankers Trust Deutsche Bank, pled guilty to laundering money to finance terrorist operations for groups linked to Osama bin Laden. Deutsche Bank has been a favorite of the bin Laden family and was connected to the hijackers and their support network. Deutsche Bank had corresponding relationships with banks in Bahrain and Kuwait that served George W. Bush when he engaged in illegal insider trading of shares of his company Harkin Energy. Both banks Kuwait Finance House and Faisal Islamic Bank of Bahrain had dealt with Al-Qaeda and bin Laden. But when the Bush administration released its worldwide list of suspect financial institutions vowing to track down terrorist financing, neither bank was on the list. Mayo Shattuck III is a powerful force in the financial world, head of the Alex Brown Deutsche Bank on 9-11 he had previously been involved in Enron, helping them conceal their massive debt, as well as involved in an insider trading scam involving Adnan Khashoggi's Genesis Intermedia immediately before 9-11. He was midway through a three-year, $30 million contract as head of Alex Brown when the attacks came, and under his management, some of the illegal trades on United Airlines were placed. Mayo Shattuck has taken over Alex Brown operations in 1997 after Krongard had officially gone to the CIA in 1998. Mayo Shattuck III resigned on the day after 9-11.